Hi everyone. If you're prepping for the DPWH Project Engineer Accreditation Exam, this video is for you. Let's get started. What document is issued to the contractor by the DPWH to cover any increase or decrease in quantities of original work items in the contract? A. Variation order. B. Work change request. C. Change order. D. Site instruction. Answer. C. Change order. What is the maximum time frame for processing variation orders, from preparation to approval by the procuring entity? A. 15 calendar days. B. 30 calendar days. C. 45 calendar days. D. 60 calendar days. Answer. B. 30 calendar days. Advance payment to the contractor in an amount not to exceed, blank, of the total original contract amount. A. 10%. B. 15%. C. 20%. D. 25%. Answer. B. 15%. What is the periodic payment for contractors' progress billing? A. Once every two weeks. B. Once a month. C. Once every three months. D. Twice a month. Answer. B. Once a month. What determines the minimum turning path of a design vehicle in an intersection? A. Lane width. B. Entry radius. C. Turning radius. D. Intersection angle. Answer. C. Turning radius. What is the wind speed in Zone 1 in the Philippines? A. 200 km per hour. B. 250 km per hour. C. 270 km per hour. D. 320 km per hour. Answer. B. 250 km per hour. Note, Zone 1, 250 km per hour Zone 2, 280 km per hour Zone 3, 300 km per hour Zone 4, 320 km per hour. Reference, NSCP 2015. What is the deterioration of the upper concrete slab surface of PCCP? A. Spalling. B. Cracking. C. Scaling. D. Delamination. Answer. C. Scaling. Withholding VAT for progress billings of the contractor shall be A. 7%. B. 2%. C. 5%. D. 10%. Answer. C. 5%. The procuring entity shall retain from each progress payment, blank, of such payment, referred to as the retention money. A. 5%. B. 10%. C. 15%. D. 20%. Answer. B. 10%. Once the project reaches an accomplishment of, blank, of the total contract amount, the procuring entity may create an inspectorate team to make preliminary inspection and submit a punch list to the contractor in preparation for the final turnover of the project. A. 85%. B. 90%. C. 95%. D. 100%. Answer. C. 95%. Total amount of liquidated damages shall be deducted to the A. Initial billing. B. Progress billing. C. Final billing. D. Change order. Answer. C. Final billing. It reflects the accomplishment duration relationship in the project. A. Baseline schedule. B. Catch-up schedule. C. PERT slash CPM. D. PDM. Answer. B. Catch-up schedule. Contract time extension may be granted only when the affected activities fall within the blank of the PERT slash CPM or PDM network. A. Total float. B. Critical path. C. Activity duration. D. End event. Answer. B. Critical path. It is the graphical representation of the cumulative monthly cash flow of a project over its time duration. A. Line graph. B. Histogram. C. S-curve. 
D. Bar chart. Answer, C. S curve. It is the difference between the targeted accomplishment and the actual accomplishment at the end of a certain period, it is expressed in percentage and indicates the performance of project implementation. A. Time slippage. B. Earned value. C. Schedule variance. D. Cost performance index. Answer. A. Time slippage. One eligibility requirement for contractors is to be a Filipino citizen or at least, blank, Filipino-owned partnership or corporation. A. 51%. B. 60%. C. 75%. D. 100%. Answer. B. 60%. Defective works in a project should be brought to the attention of the contractor by the resident engineer through A. Change orders. B. Site instructions. C. Progress reports. D. Meeting minutes. Answer. B. Site instructions. What is the designed lifespan of permanent bridges before it is being replaced? A. 25 years. B. 40 years. C. 50 years. D. 75 years. Answer. C. 50 years. What is the validity slash renewal period of the project engineer accreditation? A. 3 years. B. 2 years. C. 1 year. D. 5 years. Answer. A. 3 years. As per RA 9184, Rule 19 Section 62, what is the warranty period for semi-permanent structures or building types 1, 2, and 3? A. 1 year. B. 3 years. C. 5 years. D. 10 years. Answer. C. 5 years. That concludes our review of the project engineer questions and answers. I hope you found the information useful and that it helps you in preparing for your next exam. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your engineering journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful content.